Yo, what up? It's Aaron Moses. Happy New Year's, guys. I think it's what, the third? Yeah, it is the third. My favorite number, three. Now, this video is about faking it till you're making it versus practice until you grasp it. I made the post in 2020 going forward. We're no longer going to fake it till we make it. We're going to practice till we grasp it. And a lot of people seem to think that's the same thing because I don't, I don't know. But I'm going to tell you the big difference. Fake it till you make it and tells you using your willpower to put yourself in a specific frame or state of mind while you interact with the people in order to get specific results that will reinforce this energy that you have inside of you. For example, if you are not confident, we'll say talking to women, right? And you write down five traits that you want to have. Okay, so number one, we're going to use my willpower to keep strong eye contact. Number two, I'm going to be positive because that's what confident people do. They're positive and happy. Number three, I'm going to ask empathetic questions instead of thinking about myself and focusing all of my energy on myself because that's what people who are not confident do. They yeah. constantly think about themselves because they have to, you know, protect themselves from their surroundings. So they don't they're not really open to other people's energies. Number four, let me just um, let me think of something else. Um you know, standing up straight, having body language, confident, open body language, right? And number five Speaking loudly so that everyone can hear you instead of, well, yeah, they call my friends call me Jeff. You know that? Right. So if you can use your willpower enough to pretend, make believe that this is you in real life, this is your authentic self, then people are going to treat you a specific way. You use enough of your willpower until it thizzles out so people are like all right all right they're not responding to you like you're a confident man that's attractive to women then you go do something else recharge go home and do it the same day i mean the next day okay that's fake it till you're making eventually your brain is going to rewire itself the universe is going to give you all kind of tests and things that are going to reinforce or break you know the habits that you've been obtaining that's fake it till you make it practice to you grasp it is you waking up and doing things that you don't normally do and instead of you pretending like you have you know a strong body language good eye contact you speak loudly you actually go outside and continue to do these things little by little one day at a time okay this is what i'm gonna do if i'm gonna do this in my own in my own space in my own home and 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 write these affirmations and meditate this is the skill i'm going to be working on for this whole week so posture see me personally i have this thing where I stand, I guess it's def it is defensively. I stand defensively so I kind of lean back and my shoulders are back and it kind of like affects everything else and so my chin's kind of up so it kind of looks like I'm looking down on people if they're shorter than me. And then if they're taller than me, I kind of like stand a specific distance so I can look at them a specific way and keep my posture. So I'm trying to learn how to stand up more straight. I don't slouch. I actually do the opposite of slouching, which is really not that good for your back, especially if you're on your feet for as long as I am a day. So that's one thing. Instead of me, I mean, that's just something subconscious. So that's not a good example. But practicing it till you cr grasp it, 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 practice till you grasp it, is taking the act in your own home, in your own space, Recording your own affirmation on your own phone or your studio if you have a microphone like me. If you just working on these skills individually, authentically, and you might even, even if this is like a female likability thing, a female attraction thing, if that's something that you want to practice till you grasp, 
you could walk up, start a conversation. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I might be slouching a little bit. I don't want you to think that, you know, I'm kind of nervous. This is, I really don't talk to, I really mostly talk to dudes or females in my family. So if I, if you can't hear me, let me know. That is actually, that's more authentic when it comes to practicing it to you, practice to you grasp it versus fake it to you make it. And I say this all the time, like, bro, yeah, I'm so, I'm weird, bro. All I think about is Mortal Kombat and Power Rangers all day, bro. So if I end up talking about Mortal Kombat, or pro which is not true. But if I end up talking about that, you talk about something you want to talk about, bro. I'm pretty selfish when it comes to my conversations because I'm not used to talking to people. Now, am I that forward in real life? No. Do I suggest that? If you can tweak it to make it sound how you... How it would, If you could tweak it to make it sound more socially acceptable or socially unacceptable, whatever you're working on, that's practice to your grasp. It. That is the difference. And there's a... I think it's quicker. I think it's a, I think it's quicker than faking it till you make it. And I think that when you go out there and you do certain things, especially when it comes to women, women are BS detectives, bro. So if you try to do those things, it might actually hurt you or it can help you so you can learn your own weaknesses or your own strengths. You might come out that situation, that interaction and be like, well, she didn't, she didn't think I was creepy. Okay, yeah, because that was your first, that was the first woman you talked to. And she was like equal or lesser to your standards, okay? Go about level above that, this woman's going to be looking at you like, bruh, bruh, bruh. And gonna, she's going to do something to you, bro, to your ego. Or she's going to think you're creepy and say she has a boyfriend when she clearly doesn't have a boyfriend, Okay. So that's not something that I know because I don't do that. I don't have to. I don't have to do that. Okay, but that's it, man. I suggest practice to you, to you, to you grasp it. Fake it till you make, or you can just come out with your own creative combination of the two. That's up to you. But no, this video, this video is to confirm that no, fake it till you make it is not the same as practice till you grasp it. And how somebody could come to that conclusion, uh, I'm not exactly sure. Because being fake and practicing something this way is two totally different things. Practicing or building confidence is much different than going up to people and lying about the amount of confidence that you have through reading about different postures and stances that you can take in certain levels of eye contact fake it practice till you make mask it. i mean practice till you grasp it would be okay look i'm gonna i'm gonna mirror gaze and meditate on my own eyes because that's why a lot of people have eye contact issues because they don't ever look into their own eyes it's to, to be honest bro when I was younger, I would go days without looking in the mirror. And I don't know why, but I would just be walking around. And I even do that now still. Walking around with stuff all over my face. I just ate this stuff in my beard. And I, I'm like, I just got out the bathroom. I just brushed my teeth. How do I have so much stuff on my beard and my face? And nobody told me until seven hours into my day. Because, I mean... I just, just don't look in the mirror like that. I don't know why. I brush my teeth in the shower. So I don't wash my face. So, but yeah, this is not about me. So, fake it till you make it is not the same as practice till you grasp it, bro. Fake it till you make it is about you receiving energies from society in order to shape you into what you want to be. Practicing it till you grasp it in it is about you working on it actively making small tweaks in your in your habits because your personality is made out of your beliefs and your habits bro if you change your habits you change how you think and that's how you change how people interact with you all right not pretending to be something that you're not until you just get molded i don't know i don't personally i don't think that's a good idea have i tried it i don't know i haven't I had, I mean, it didn't work for me, and not in a good way. That's probably a story for another day, but 
Thank you for watching. This is Aaron Moses. Life is in the breath. Breathing in.